Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Big victory for traditional Americans. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Today, the Supreme Court ruled 5 to 4 that the federal government cannot force small corporations to buy controversial birth control devices for their employees. The so-called Hobby Lobby case pitted liberal America against traditional religious America. The Obama administration wants all corporations to fund things like the morning after pill, which many religious Americans believe is an abortion inducing medication. By the way, the national media did not report that. They continue to say the Hobby Lobby case is about birth control per se, which it is absolutely not. Anyway, the very disturbing part of the Supreme Court's opinion is that the four liberal justices apparently believe that American taxpayers should fund abortions. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Elena Kagan, Sonia Sotomayor, Stephen Breyer voted to uphold the federal mandate. That's hard to believe because religious freedom is a hallmark of the Constitution. If you sincerely believe that abortion is morally wrong, you have a right to opt out. But these four justices would deny you that right, absolutely contradicting the Constitution. Again, that's frightening. The other matter decided today by the Supreme Court is that the government cannot force people to join unions. Another amazing intrusion into personal freedom. Again, it was 5-4. The liberal justice believing the Fed should be able to force American workers into a union situation. Talking Points is concerned that if one more liberal Supreme Court justice is appointed, one more, freedom in America will be compromised forever. And you know what? Most Americans do not understand that at all. On a practical basis, what? are these four liberal judges thinking about? Do they not understand that the Obama administration has screwed up just about everything? Do they not understand that the federal government in Washington is not solving the nation's problems? Yet the four justices want to give the feds even more power. It's unbelievable. Tonight we'll cover the continuing border chaos, which the Obama administration did nothing about for five and a half years. We'll also cover vicious terrorists in the Middle East declaring a new country, a terrorist country. And what is the president doing about that? Wages for working Americans continue to fall. The economy just lies there. And almost every single major problem in this country is getting worse. Yet four members of the Supreme Court want to empower the government even further. So, while traditional Americans have a reason to celebrate tonight because the majority of the Supremes did vote on the side of freedom, there is a cautionary wind blowing. Liberal America, including President Obama, want the federal government to control our lives. Every American should think about that. And that's a memo.